Blood Steam. The once loved builder turned into a horrifying monster. Able to craft with the very blood of players, he hunts for the one who wronged him. Steve was angrily searching for Alex one day when he stumbled across a group of players in a clearing. They were chanting and spreading redstone around in a strange pattern. Suddenly, a terrifying monster broke out of the ground, the Blood Warden. Immediately flying into a rampage, the Warden killed every player before they could react. Running towards the beast, Steve attacked it, only to stagger back as his blade broke in his hand. The Blood Warden slowly turned towards him. Steve tried to sneak away, but the Warden ran up and shoved him into its ribcage. Trapped and unable to breathe, Steve's mind went blank as his body twisted. All of a sudden, he was spit back out, collecting himself. He was struck by an intense rage unlike anything he had ever felt. Immediately remembering his prior interaction with Alex, he had just returned from the mines to find her digging around in his storage. She ran off, and Steve opened his chest to find his diamonds missing. Alex had stolen his diamonds, and now he was going to kill her! While rushing off to find Alex, Steve came across one of the villages that he had been helping protect, just as it was being raided. Enraged by the sound of the warning bell's chimes, he ran towards it at blinding speed, smashing through a ravager before arriving at the village square. The pillagers were startled by his sudden appearance, but quickly ready their crossbows. Completely surrounded, Steve just stood, looking down. All at once, they unloaded their crossbows on him, until he was completely covered with arrows. But Steve didn't fall. The pillagers were confused. How was he still standing? Suddenly, Steve let out a piercing scream. The arrows exploded off of his body, and the fresh holes in his skin began to leak blood. As it continued to pour, the pillagers were terrified and retreated, but there would be no escape. Steve rushed around the village, decimating the pillager forces while spreading his blood everywhere. Finally killing the last pillager, his rage began to settle. As he stood silent, some villagers recognized him and ran up to thank Steve. However, as they got closer, they realized something was off. Steve's head suddenly snapped around, and the villagers were filled with terror. The closest villager slowly backed away, but Steve followed. Scared and quickly turning to run, he was killed in an instant. The rest of the villagers panicked and began to flee, but they all met the same fate. After slaying the last of them, Steve was feeling weak from all the blood he had lost and began absorbing the villager essence into his body. Just then, he heard the sounds of an iron golem, only to be hit by its iron fists. Flung backwards, Steve was now angrier than ever. He rushed towards the golem, hitting him again and again with unmatched speed, eventually exploding the golem into ingots. Exhausted, Steve struggled towards the pools of blood he had left behind. Finally, absorbing his and his victim's essence, he got up, now feeling stronger than ever. Just then, he was hit with a blood vision. He was a villager, and he was trading with Alex. She must have come to this village after stealing his diamonds. With renewed energy and rage, Steve ran off towards the player village. As he traveled towards Alex, Steve suddenly stopped. He began hearing strange noises and felt as though the ground was calling to him. As this was happening, a small pool of blood formed underneath him before he was dragged under. He fell into a strange and bloody place. All at once, he began to hear voices. So many voices. Bloody figures of the villagers and pillagers he had killed began bleeding into view. Calling out to him, they had to be silenced! He ran at them to attack, only to immediately find himself back in the overworld. Steve was confused, but he just shook it off and continued towards the player village. Eventually reaching the village, Steve spotted Alex heading into the woods. Following behind her, he found her fishing in a clearing. Sensing something watching her, Alex turned around, only to see an empty tree line. Hearing a splash, she quickly turned back towards the water as it slowly turned red. Unsettled, she backed away before a bloody figure emerged from the waters. Horrified, Alex was about to run when she recognized... Steve? He said nothing, only staring at her. What happened to you? Alex kept trying to get answers, but Steve was only interested in one thing. Revenge! He punched Alex, sending her flying back. Out of breath, 
She tried to get through to him, but Steve just walked towards her with death in his eyes. Alex suddenly tossed out an enchanted diamond helmet. I know you wanted a new helmet, so I used some of my diamonds to make you this. Please, Steve, you're my friend. Steve looked up from the armor at Alex and hit her back against a tree. He didn't care. Steve was dead. Now only blood Steve remained. Not wanting to fight, Alex weakly fled towards the village as he slowly followed. He was going to savor every second of this. As he returned to the player village for Alex, he found a group of three players clad in diamond armor waiting for him. Alex had warned some others of Steve's attempt on her life, and they had come to defend her. With a haunting laugh, Steve rushed towards them. However, these players were ready for the attack. Holding up their shields, they blocked him before slicing into his hand with their blades. Steve screeched and reeled back. Upon seeing the monster bleed, the player's confidence grew. In truth, they never stood a chance. Instinctually, Blood Steve lifted his arm and from the new cut in his hand, shot out a bolt of blood, instantly killing one of the players. Shocked, one of them raised their shield just as another was taken out. Fear filled the lone player as he tried to process what had just happened. But before he could, Blood Steve was behind him, piercing his head with a bloody bolt. Steve looked around for Alex. Not seeing her, he turned his attention back to where the players had died and noticed strange items floating on the ground. Picking them up, he realized that each player had dropped a blood cluster. Interesting. Absorbing the rest of their essence, Steve was struck with another blood vision. This time, he was a player, and Alex was talking to him. She said she was leaving to find a cure for Steve, and mentioned a witch. Angered by this, Steve rushed off towards the swamp. Eventually reaching Swampland, Blood Steve searched for any sign of Alex or a witch's hut. As he wandered, he noticed the water was turning red. Suddenly, he heard the sounds of screaming. Ready to hunt, he came across a player being chased by a hungry Blood Warden. Steve was furious at the sight of the creature and rushed forward. Being faster than the warden, Steve was able to get in close, hitting it hard in its chest cavity. However, the warden stood firm and beat Steve back, sending him flying into the bloody water. Getting up, Steve retaliated by shooting bolts into the warden's eyes, causing it to stagger back. The blood warden curled up with a bloody sonic boom. Now badly injured, Steve was filled with rage that he seemed to be losing this fight. Just then, the Blood Warden spoke. You have already been turned. I must find the other. He then tunneled away, leaving Steve confused. The other? He must mean Alex. Steve was furious. He had to get to her before that Warden did. As he thought this, a pool of blood began to form under Steve once again and pulled him under. Falling back into the bloodscape, he was surrounded by not only bloody villagers and pillagers, but the players he had killed as well. The players were all shouting at once. Use our blood. Use our blood. Overwhelmed, Steve's rage hit a breaking point. Releasing an ear-piercing shriek, he found himself back in the swamp. Taking a moment to collect himself, Steve's thoughts returned to the bloodscape and the shouting of his victims. Just then, it clicked. He broke down a tree and created a crafting table, then pulled out the player's blood clusters. Using two of them, he crafted a blood sword. Something about this weapon felt incredible. Pleased with his new discovery, he continued forward to find Alex. Finally coming across a witch's hut, Blood Steve walked up and screamed for Alex. A witch wandered out of her hut and seemed unfazed by his horrific appearance. So you finally come. As Steve began to slowly walk towards her, the witch quickly pulled out a potion and threw it at him. Suddenly, Steve was paralyzed. Alex appeared from inside the hut, holding an enchanted diamond apple. Just stay still, Steve. This will all be over soon. Blood Steve struggled against the potion's effects as Alex walked towards his unmoving body. She bent down to feed him the healing apple when she was suddenly bit. The apple dropped from her hand as she screamed out in pain. Shaking off the potion, Steve stood up and grabbed the fruit before crushing it in his hand. Alex stood in shock, no longer knowing what to do as her only plan had just 
fallen to pieces. Blood Steve pulled out his new sword. He had had enough of these games. Running at Alex in an instant, he stabbed her. Yes, he finally did it. Suddenly, a potion hit Steve in the face, blinding him. Enraged, he ran around wildly swinging his sword until his vision returned to him. That was when he noticed Alex was gone. No Alex, no blood, nothing. <laughs> Useful thing, that totem of undying. Totem of undying? Alex is still alive? Furious beyond imagining, Blood Steve shot a bloody bolt through the witch's heart, killing her instantly. He then absorbed her essence. Again, he had a blood vision. However, this time, there were no clues. Alex was just explaining her plan to the witch. I really hope this works. I'm worried about him. Useless! How was he going to find her before that blood warden now? Just then, an idea struck him. He wouldn't need to worry about the warden turning Alex if he killed the warden. Steve knew he had been outmatched last time, but realized that if he collected more player blood, he could probably craft a set of blood armor as well. He hastily set off towards the player village to harvest more. While traveling, Blood Steve felt a strange force summoning him to the east. Following his instinct, he eventually met with the towering walls of the Firelands. Intrigued, he wandered inside. The deeper he went, the darker it got. Eventually coming across a strange summoning circle, just like the one that had spawned the Blood Warden. Seeing a strange warden-shaped totem in the center, he grabbed it. Maybe he could use this to bring that blood warden to him. Feeling like he had found what had been drawing him, he began to leave the Farlands. As Blood Steve walked, he began hearing growls. Suddenly, he was attacked by a horde of monsters. They piled on top of him, pinning him to the ground. However, they had no idea what he was capable of, and he got up as quickly as he had been knocked down. Tearing into the beasts with his blood sword, the fight was over in mere seconds. After absorbing their essence, Steve felt the ground beginning to shake. Laughing could be heard as Herobrine suddenly appeared. He had been spying on Steve and saw an opportunity to taunt him. A monster slaying monsters? Some hero you turned out to be. Yes, Alex is stronger than you after all. <laughs> Steve stabbed him through the chest, and Herobrine quickly teleported away. Unfazed, Blood Steve resumed his journey towards the player village. Upon returning to the village, Blood Steve began slaughtering players without hesitation. He needed their blood, and he needed it now. They ran panicking as their friends and families were massacred. Blood began to flood the streets, and clusters floated throughout. With each new kill, Steve's sword absorbed more blood, causing it to grow stronger and sharper. While all of this was happening, Alex watched helplessly from the distance, in absolute horror. There was no denying it, Steve really was dead. That thing was nothing but a monster, and it needed to die. Alex ran off, as Blood Steve continued his rampage. After killing the last player, Steve placed a crafting table, and using all of the blood clusters he had harvested, created a full set of blood armor. Finally, he was ready to kill that warden. Pulling out the blood warden totem he found in the Farlands, he smashed it on the ground. Suddenly, the earth started to shake as the blood warden tunneled up. Without hesitation, Steve attacked, cutting away at the Warden with unmatched speed and aggression. Completely caught off guard, the Warden staggered back, unable to react as the unrelenting strikes drained the blood from its body. Blood Steve laughed maniacally as he continued his assault. This was too easy! Stop! Spinning around, Steve was face to face with Alex. She was wearing fully enchanted diamond armor and looked ready for a fight. I'm sorry, Steve, but you have to be destroyed. Steve now entirely focused on Alex, the Blood Warden escaped back into the earth, but he didn't care. Finally, he would have his revenge. Alex raised her shield as Blood Steve rushed towards her.